Welcome back to the channel. I'm Brave X Hero, and today we are covering everything mod related. This is the ultimate build crafting guide for Destiny 2 Lightfall. Today, we'll be covering the biggest changes that happen with the mod system with the launch of Destiny 2 Lightfall. Along with that, we'll be covering the new armor charge system and how mods affect your armor charges in game. Lastly, we'll be covering how you can use the new mod system and create a build that suits your playstyle. Like always, if you enjoyed today's video, do me a favor and drop a like. If you're new to the channel, click that subscribe button for more Destiny 2 content. But with that, let's get started with the video. With the launch of Destiny 2 Lightfall, there is a ton of changes. One of the biggest changes that affects everybody is that mods are now available to everyone. Yes, you heard that right. Even if you didn't own a mod prior to Destiny 2 Lightfall, every mod is available for every player. So those of you that are new players or returning players coming back to the game, yes, every mod is available to you. Personally, I think this is massive. No longer will you watch a video from your favorite YouTuber and feel like you can't complete the build because you're missing a mod. Next over, there are no more armor affinities. Prior to the launch of Destiny 2 Lightfall, some mods were locked to specific armor affinities. Meaning if you wanted to use the mod hands-on, this mod was locked to a solar affinity helmet. Meaning if you wanted to use this mod, you would have to find a solar helmet. Now with the launch of Destiny 2 Lightfall, there are no more armor affinities. Meaning if I want to utilize the mod hands-on, I don't have to find a solar helmet. One of the biggest additions with Destiny 2 Lightfall is loadouts. You can now save your loadouts. No longer will you have to go to a third party system to save your loadout. This can be easily done by heading over to the loadout tab and clicking one of the empty slots or overriding a previously saved loadout. If you thought saving a loadout was easy, it's even easier to equip a loadout. Find that loadout you want to use for that specific activity and simply clicking that loadout will change all your armor pieces in one second. Lastly, Bungie simplified the mod system, adding synergy between the mods and subclasses, thus making it easier for anybody to go in there and create their favorite build. Now, before we get into the mods, let's talk about armor charges. Prior to the launch of Destiny 2 Lightfall, when a Guardian would pick up an Orb of Power, this will give him one stack of Charge with Light. Now, with the launch of Destiny 2 Lightfall, the system changed just a tiny bit. Rather than having Charge with Light times two or three, you will now see each armor charge on screen. Moving into the next category, let's talk about mods. Yes, there are a bunch of different colors. You have yellow mods, blue mods, green mods, and white mods. The reason these mods are colored is because they provide different benefits. Let's talk about these yellow mods. The yellow mods require an armor charge. These provide an immediate benefit. That may be specific ability energy, to health, to even an overshield, depending on the mod you choose. Now, depending on the yellow armor mod you choose, some may require more armor charges than others, such as Special Ammo Finisher, which requires three armor charges to activate, as opposed to the Kickstart mod, which requires a minimum of one to be activated. Now, these yellow armor mods are going to be located on the arms, the chest piece, and the class item. For your gauntlets, you can go with armor charges such as the Grenade Kickstart mod and also the Melee Kickstart mod, such as Grenade Kickstart. When your grenade is fully expended, you gain grenade energy. Moving into our chest piece, the yellow armor mod we have is emergency reinforcement. When your shields become broken, you gain temporary damage reduction. Now, unlike our kickstart mods, emergency reinforcement requires three or more stacks of armor charge. Now, majority of these yellow mods are located on the class item. Moving into our next color, we have the green armor mods. Some will boost the capacity of how many armor charges you can hold, to how many charges are given at one time to even extending armor charges. Now these green armor mods are located throughout each armor piece and provide a different benefit. Next, we have the blue armor mods. These will consume your armor charges with a consumption timer. Now these blue armor mods will boost your overall stats to your weapon's performance for a short period. Now each benefit depends on which armor mod you decide to choose. For weapons, you gain a damage boost to a specific weapon type. When it comes to boosting your overall stats, each stat has a separate mod. If I want to boost my resilience stat, I have to choose Font of Endurance. When it comes to these blue armor mods, the more stacks of armor charges you have, the longer this benefit will last. With each timer depletion, this will consume one stack of your armor charge. For example, if I have four stacks of Font of Restoration, when each timer hits zero, this will consume one armor charge and will reset the timer until either all my armor charges are gone 
or I consume another orb of power. Keep in mind that you can always boost the timer on all of these blue armor charges by utilizing the armor mod time dilation. Your decaying armor charge has a longer duration. And yes, you can utilize multiple copies of time dilation to boost that timer. And if you're wondering, this is located on the class item. Lastly, we have the white armor mods. These provide a basic benefit, such as ammo finders, siphon mods, unflinching, and even scavengers. Now, before I get into the last two portions of the video, let's talk about armor mods and how you could take full advantage of them. Now, if you're looking to increase the number of stacks of armor charges you can hold, you want to choose the mod charged up. This is going to allow you to hold one extra armor charge. And yes, you can utilize another copy of this, yet again, boosting the number of armor charges you can hold by one. Now, if you're looking to gain an additional armor charge with each orb you pick up, you want to utilize the mod Stacks on Stacks. This is located on the leg armor. Picking up an orb of power grants you one additional stack of armor charge. And no, you can't use multiple copies of this mod. It provides no benefit. Essentially, if you're utilizing Stacks on Stacks combined with Charged Up, now, when you pick up an orb of power, you'll gain two armor charges. And yes, you'll be able to hold those armor charges because of the mod charged up. Earlier, we talked about the blue armor charges and they have what I like to call a consumption timer. Each time the timer hits zero, you will lose an armor charge. The only way to boost this timer is with the mod time dilation. And that's located on the class item. Now, moving back into our gauntlets, let's talk about the yellow armor mod and the blue armor mod. Both of these consume an armor charge but they provide different benefits. The yellow armor mod, which is grenade kickstart, consumes your armor charge by giving you a little bit of energy back, as opposed to font of focus, which is gonna give you a boost in your discipline stat, boosting how fast your grenade will charge. These are not the only two mods that will boost your grenade ability energy. We also have mods such as impact induction, causing damage with a melee attack reduces your grenade cooldown. We also have the mod innervation, reduces grenade cooldown each time you pick up an orb of power. The same goes for Melee Kickstart and Font of Vigor, both of which will charge your melee ability. Also, there are other mods that will boost your melee cooldown, such as Momentum Transfer. Causing damage with a grenade reduces your melee cooldown. There's also the mod Invigoration, which is going to boost your melee cooldown with each orb of power you pick up. And if you're wondering, yes, there is an entire set focused around class ability energy. There are a few things that you have to keep in mind. Number one. Prior to Lightfall, if you utilize the exotic Shinobu's Vows, this grants you two grenade charges, thus meaning a Kickstart mod will not work. But with the launch of Lightfall, Kickstart mods will work with any exotic armor piece or perk that grants you two charges of anything. Number two, prior to selecting a mod for your armor piece, please read the description. Some mods have diminishing returns and others provide no benefits. Number three, which is by far my favorite, contradicting armor mods. If you plan on utilizing a yellow armor mod and also a blue armor mod, keep in mind that one of them will be consuming your armor charges while the other one will have no effect. For example, if I select the Font of Endurance mod and also the Emergency Reinforcement mod, every time I pick up an Orb of Power, this is going to grant me one armor charge and at the same time will begin a decay timer for that armor charge. Meaning if I have one armor charge and that timer decays, I will never activate the mod Emergency Reinforcement because I need to have three stacks of armor charges for it to activate. The same concept applies if I'm utilizing Font of Restoration and also Special Finisher. For Special Finisher to activate, I need to have three stacks of armor charge. But if my armor charge keeps decaying over time, I will never be able to activate Special Finisher. Essentially meaning if I'm going to utilize a blue armor mod, I need to stack that alongside either a time dilation or stacks on stacks just to have enough armor charges to activate one of my yellow mods. Number four, some mods do stack on top of each other. If I'm utilizing special finisher, which requires three armor charges for me to generate special ammo for my entire team, that can stack alongside empowered finish. Final blows grant you one temporary armor charge when you have none. Essentially, if I have three armor charges and I perform a finisher to generate special ammo, Empowered Finisher will activate and give me one armor charge after losing three of them. If you plan on utilizing a Kickstart mod, keep in mind that you cannot stack Kickstart mods on top of each other. For example, if I'm utilizing Grenade Kickstart, it would be a waste to utilize Utility Kickstart because if I have armor charges, whichever ability I decide to use first will take priority and consume those armor charges. Meaning, 
if I have three armor charges and I throw my grenade, this is going to activate grenade kickstart. At the same time, if I dodge, I will not have any armor charges to replenish my class ability. Number six, there are seasonal mods that can enhance your current mods, either by replacing the cost of each one of your mods or granting armor charges, such as Solar Surge. Collecting a Fire Sprite gives you an armor charge. Number seven, it's not always a good idea to utilize three kickstart mods with an exotic that grants the same benefit. For example, the Osmiomancy Gloves. This exotic provides such a great benefit to your grenade ability, it would be a waste to utilize three grenade kickstart mods on it. Which is why in my most recent build video, I utilized one grenade kickstart mod with it. I think personally, the mod changes are great. It really allows just any player just to jump in there and test different mods out to find out which mod they enjoy utilizing for their build. On that note, if you've got some fun builds you'd like me to demonstrate on the channel, by all means, head over to my community discord and let me know. If you enjoyed today's video, do me a favor and drop a like and share this video with other Destiny players. Also, if you're new to the channel, hi, I'm BraveX Hero and I cover everything Destiny related. So if you enjoy my content, you might want to consider hitting that subscribe button and turning on all notifications. Thank you so much for stopping by. You enjoy the rest of your day and I will see you in the next video.